Prism, you invented RPA, you were the first company to float publicly in this space, you have a thousand customers now, and you have the market leading product. But what are you doing to make sure that you keep ahead of the game for the next five, ten years, whatever that may be? We picked these three words, we could have picked any number of the ten others, but why are we focusing on just these three principles when it comes to building out and developing our product strategy? Businesses themselves are being disrupted by human behavior. What they see is a landscape out there, it's hugely appealing. There are thousands of different technologies out there that they would love to bring in and trial today. But they're really held back because um, they can't go and pilot these technologies if they don't have the back-end integration, the plumbing, as I call it, that enables them to wire these things in meaningfully and pilot the technologies and prove a business case. And very quickly, the problem becomes circular. I call it a chicken and an egg problem <coughs> because they can't go and make those investments unless there's a tangible business outcome attached to it with the business case. And Blue Prism unlocks that conundrum. You can deploy a digital workforce today. You can gain the benefits that everybody likes to talk about with cost reduction, uh, accuracy, increased compliance, um, quality, scale. All of those things are great. But what it actually creates for you is a very flexible platform, an intermediate layer between your core systems of record and these new systems of engagement that you want to wire up to the outside world that allows you to create a quick time to value. You can pilot things quickly. If it's not working, you can throw them away. It's OK. You've not invested uh, too much effort in those things. So what are we doing now to invest in the future and bring about this new world? So internally in Blue Prism, if you look at the bottom, uh, we're creating an internal research team for emerging technologies. And what they're doing is consistently locating, finding, trialing, testing, and packaging and pre-integrating new technologies that we can bring in to the Blue Prism ecosystem to your benefit. Something else we're doing is we have a global academia program with universities around the world. We want to be able to give back. So at the very basic level, uh, what we're doing is contributing to education programs. Uh, we're providing free software licenses. We're providing practical support so that students can experiment uh, and get trained. And we're helping to uh, train the next generation of uh, pioneers. We're actually sponsoring joint research. This is independent research, academic research, and we're helping to fund those programs. And I'm really proud, again, just from a, a personal perspective, having attended Manchester University, that this is the first university that's, that's on board with us. How can you expect your experience to be different <coughs> under this new model? What can you expect from Blue Prism? Now, you may have heard us talk about the Technology Alliance program. Uh, let me describe it briefly to, to help you understand. So we're partnering with world-leading technology providers. Uh, we're looking to introduce best-of-breed uh, technologies in an ecosystem of choice. It's about crowdsourcing the development of AI, all these advances that we expect to happen very, very quickly over the, the coming years. It means that you can have more ready access to them, and actually you'll have a higher ROI, because we'll be doing packaging, testing, pre-configuration, uh, and standardizing those things so that you can draw them down. You might have a question in your mind, which is, well, how do I know, Blue Prism, that you're experimenting with the right technologies with, that will meet the needs of, of my business? We're looking to create an ecosystem of thousands of different technologies, all centered around these uh, six intelligent skills. These are going to be central to the way that we develop, prioritize, and approach uh, these technologies. And they're all going to sit within uh, a digital ecosystem. Thousands and thousands of technologies, as I've said a number of times now, will become available through our digital exchange. So this is a real asset. This exists today. We haven't quite yet launched it. We'll be launching it later this year. But through our portal here, you'll be able to browse and filter technologies, either according to the skills or vendor names or the business problem that you're trying to solve, and come up with ideas and proposals, things that you can investigate further. And then you can drill down, you can download these assets, you can install them within Blue Prism, and you can have a look at the detail about what other people are doing, what they're commenting on, how they rate this 
product, what technical requirements it have, might have, what dependencies it might have. It's a beginning to end self-service platform so that, like I said, consuming AI should be as easy as downloading an app onto your smartphone.